The international community has taken strong action in response to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Countries like the US, Canada, and the UK have come together to impose sanctions on Russia. And one of the most significant measures they have taken is banning select Russian banks from the Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunications System. SWIFT is a vital tool for international financial transactions. And this move is aimed at putting economic pressure on the Russian government, hoping to end its military operations in Ukraine and resolve the conflict. The decision to ban these banks from the SWIFT system in the ongoing efforts to economically isolate Russia and disrupt its financial system. And now, Russia has partnered up with Iran and revealed their insane master plan to destroy U.S. sanctions. But before we talk about that, make sure to click the like button below and subscribe to Tech Revolution. Let's begin. The Belgian-based financial services provider SWIFT is the industry standard. The organization says that over 11,000 entities in over 200 different countries have made financial transactions over the system. You see, SWIFT is responsible for transmitting an estimated 42 million messages daily and the largest Russian bank, Sberbank, was among those the EU decided to exclude from SWIFT. The goal was to isolate Russia economically so the Kremlin couldn't continue funding its military invasion of Ukraine. In addition, banks are now required to interact directly with one another, which results in additional delays in costs and eventually prevents the Russian government from receiving income. Now, the country was previously threatened with expulsion from SWIFT when it annexed Crimea in 2014. And the Russian government has stated that this action amounts to an act of war. However, Western partners aborted the plan, but the threat prompted Russia to construct its own basic cross-border transmission system. It's called the System for Transfer of Financial Messages and is used in place of SWIFT. India is allegedly contemplating a Russian proposal to utilize SPFS for payments in rubles, even though very few other nations currently use SPFS. Separately, Moscow and Beijing are collaborating to link up with China's cross-border interbank payment system. And the Chinese Yuan may also be transferred using this system, making it an alternative to SWIFT. Now, a top Iranian official has stated that negotiations have begun between Iran and Russia to integrate their financial systems. And a move like this would increase cooperation between Tehran and Moscow. Both nations are looking for ways around Western sanctions that have limited their ability to raise money from international markets. Deputy Governor Mohsen Karimi of the Central Bank of Iran has announced that Iranian banks may now use Russian bank messaging services. This would allow them to conduct business across borders without going through the traditional banking system everywhere. Karimi stated during an interview that the two countries' national financial messaging networks are now linked. He even wants as far as to claim that SWIFT was unnecessary. Moreover, he believes that the system would link around 700 banks in Russia to 106 institutions in at least 13 other countries. No one from Russia's central bank has officially verified the deal. However, they will be in Iran in a few days to finish up the details. In 2018, SWIFT severed relations with Iranian banks in response to President Trump's decision to withdraw from the 2015 nuclear agreement and reimpose sanctions on Tehran. The Biden administration has also placed new sanctions on Tehran in recent months. And this occurred after widespread protests in Iran were met with a violent response. According to former U.S. federal prosecutor Michael Parker, we are witnessing two pariah governments seeking methods to cooperate against a common menace. Another thing he mentioned was that it is only natural for state actors to discover each other when they are relocated from the center to the periphery. And the integration of banking networks suggests that Iran and Russia may be strengthening their convenience alliance. Last year, the Biden administration expressed concern about a full-fledged defense relationship between Russia and Iran's armed forces. If Tehran and Moscow were to link their banking networks, they might exchange information about navigating sanctions measures. 
Parker stated that the schemes are tailored to two separate perceived dangers and are thus not universally applicable to both nations' monetary systems. Some have called the economic sanctions imposed on Russia the most severe, which has hampered post-Soviet attempts to modernize along Western lines and damage the economy. Iran's access to international markets has been similarly crippled by the sanctions. The result has been a 30% drop in the value of its currency over the past several months, devastating its economy. Russian President Vladimir Putin has typically treaded carefully when it comes to strengthening ties with Iran. But his calculations have altered as his war with Ukraine has cut Russia off from Western markets. So in an effort to lessen the blow of Western sanctions, Moscow is looking to Tehran as an economic partner. Parker claims Iran has spent years perfecting strategies to counteract the effects of increasingly severe sanctions aimed at the country and its economy. He then noted that Russia has a considerably stronger and more modern financial system that has not been completely cut off from the world economy. Furthermore, a Russian trade official made reference to the agreement this week back in October. According to him, it could only take a few months for the new financial system to be up and running. Early this month, the Russian Association of the Crypto Industry and Blockchain Executive Director Alexander Brezhnikov said that his organization was collaborating with Iran to introduce a shared cryptocurrency to the market. The two parties working together may be able to lessen the impact of Western sanctions. And this will occur when both nations are able to interact with nations that are open to trading in digital money outside of the international banking system. Last week, the United States dispatched its top sanctions official to Turkey in the Middle East. Under Secretary of State for Terrorism and Financial Intelligence Brian Nelson will visit Oman, the UAE, and Turkey. He traveled around these nations from the 29th of January to the 3rd of February, where he conferred with representatives from several corporations and banks. A Treasury Department spokeswoman told Reuters that he reaffirmed the United States' commitment to vigorously enforcing its sanctions. And the United States government has warned that businesses and people in permissive jurisdictions may lose their ability to enter the American market. Furthermore, this will occur if they persist in conducting business with sanctioned firms or fail to undertake enough due diligence. Nelson also brought up the matter of Iran's sanctions evasion during his visit, even though it appears the trip's primary goal is to get Turkey to comply with sanctions on Russia. In order to circumvent international restrictions on its oil sales and banking dealings, Iran is reportedly working with regional middlemen. The most recent instance of this is the smuggling of dollars from Iraq to Iran, which has caused the United States to investigate all dollar transactions made by Iraqi institutions. In addition, the decision has contributed to a shortage of dollars in Iraq and a subsequent devaluation of the country's currency. Nelson also advised Turkish companies and financial institutions to avoid transferring technology that has the potential for dual use and might be utilized by Russia's military. Russia is really showing that it can and will prevail without the West. And this recent plan with Iran to ditch the SWIFT is an indication of this. So what are your thoughts on this action by Russia? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching till the end. Before you go, make sure to like and subscribe and click the notification bell to trigger YouTube's algorithm and see more of our videos on your homepage. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more interesting videos like this.